the trick is to remember it. That's what mindfulness is for, to remember to do this. To remember to observe what your mind is doing in the present moment. And if your mind is suffering, then to let go. Six are that suffering. And then gently come back to being happy. There's nobody out there that's causing your pain. You cause your pain yourself. And the more you take on one of these hindrances and make it yours personally, the more emergency there is in it. And that's why people are taking so many drugs because they're depressed, because they don't know what's happening. And they want some relief. What is depression? I'll tell you exactly. It's a painful feeling that arises. And then the craving comes up. I don't like that feeling. And then the, the clinging arises. That's all of your thoughts, opinions, concepts, stories about why you don't like that feeling. And then you fall into your habitual tendency of trying to think the feeling away. And it doesn't work. It only makes the feeling bigger and more intense. So what to do? Practice your loving kindness and you'll see what to do. People that are depressed are very self-centered. Oh, I feel so miserable. And they cry a lot, and they, uh, oh, they make themselves even more miserable the more they fight with the feeling, trying to control the feeling with their thoughts. Have to let go of those thoughts. Have to. Relax. Then you have to notice that tight mental fist around that feeling. It's painful. Yeah, it's painful. It's all right for it to be painful. It has to be because that's the Dhamma. That's the truth. When a painful re feeling arises, it's there. What you do with what arises in the present moment dictates what happens in the future. So it's a painful feeling. So what? Allow the space for it to be there. As you stop feeding that painful feeling, the painful feeling will fade away by itself. But you feed that painful feeling with your thoughts. Right? Hmm. So, I've just given you what, at, at least three months of what a psychiatrist would try to give you, and I gave it to you in five minutes. Should I get that kind of money for doing that? See? I've just told you exactly what, what depression is. And it doesn't matter if it's depression, or fear, or anxiety, or worry, or doubt, or anger, it doesn't matter what it is. You treat it always in the same way. And it takes practice to be able to do that. And the practice that I'm showing you right now is it works. <laughs>